Hey, hey, my friends, a warm welcome to the newcomers and a hearty welcome back to the familiar faces. Today, let's talk about dental probiotics. However, first things first, let's clear the air. Dental probiotics are not the same thing as gut probiotics. You might have heard about the need for good bacteria when your doctor prescribes antibiotics. Maybe they suggested probiotic pills or a pile of yogurt. Well, that's all about your gut. But today, we're zooming in on dental, or as we like to call them, oral probiotics. These little wonders target specific mouth bacteria, and the buzz is they can work wonders for your mouth and teeth, reducing the risks of bad breath, gingivitis, tooth decay, tonsillitis, oral thrush, and in some cases, even oral cancer. Now, picture this. Your oral flora, the bustling city of bacteria in your mouth, gets a bit out of balance. Enter dental probiotics, the superheroes aiming to restore that harmony. It's the talk of the town in the dental world, oral probiotics stepping up to tackle a range of mouth-related issues. But here's the million-dollar question. Is the hype real? Absolutely. When your mouth's natural bacteria goes off-kilter, it opens the door to infections, the whole gamut from bad breath to oral thrush. That's where dental probiotics come in, potentially elevating your home care routine to the next level. But... Here's the crucial nugget of wisdom. Dental probiotics won't kick out the bad bacteria physically. Instead, they're maestros at striking the right balance of good bacteria, assisting in preventing and treating oral infections. Breaking news. I've left a link below in the description to some amazing products that are making waves in the market. Check them out! Before we jump on the dental probiotic bandwagon, remember they're not a substitute for the basics. You've got to kick out those bad germs with the good old mechanical methods. Brushing, flossing, and those routine cleanings. Dental probiotics come in different strains, each targeting specific concerns. The heavy hitters usually contain strains like Lactobacillus reuteri, Paracasei, K12, M18, and B. lactis. Each of these strains plays an essential role in oral health, so let's take a look at each one. Lactobacillus reuteri. Ever wondered about a bacteria that could fend off the bad guys causing bad breath and oral infections? Well, Lactobacillus reuteri might just be your oral superhero. Studies suggest it could create a more balanced environment in your mouth, keeping the nasties at bay. Paracasei. Say hello to your gum's best friend. Lactobacillus paracasei has shown promise in supporting gum health, potentially putting a stop to that pesky gingivitis. It's like having a guardian for your gums. K12. Meet Streptococcus salivarius K12, the defender against throat infections. While not directly related to all oral issues, its role in throat health could indirectly contribute to your overall oral well-being. M18. Streptococcus, salivarius M18, is like the shield against tooth decay. Research suggests it could inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria associated with cavities, helping you win the battle for a cavity-free smile. B. lactis, this probiotic rock star is often associated with gut health, but it turns out it might have a role in oral health too. Bifidobacterium lactis could be your ally in balancing the oral microbiota for a healthier mouth. So, probiotics are that extra mile for those wanting to go above and beyond. If you're battling gum disease despite being a dental rock star with your routine, maybe dental probiotics are the missing link. And that's all for today. I hope this video has been your guide through the dental probiotic maze. If it shed light on your queries, so hit that like button, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Your support fuels my enthusiasm to keep bringing you fresh and amazing content. See you in the next video.